Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saik and today we're continuing the blind playthrough, legendary difficulty and Grandmaster mode enabled. I promised you a demon prince and I will deliver one in this episode as we are fighting against Malathian the Harvester. We don't know much about him so we're bringing the A team. And the A-Team now has a bit of an extra stun combination because I wanted to go down that stun route a bit more. Uh, I put Blessing of the Faith uh, with extra uh, stun, so it's a pure stun hammer that can hit for up to four, five stun actually on normal attacks. If you put the uh, Blessing of the Apothecary on top of it That'll be a lot of stun and I remember that we had one enemy in particular where we needed to work through that. So then on top Enders here, I am still contemplating what we want to give him as equipment. We got really most of the great equipment already. So 20% crit chance, 4 extra crit damage is already in there. I like Final Justice because Final Justice um, as a weapon comes in with that ultra high crit, right? So we're looking at 8 base crit, 20% crit um, on top and a 25% chance to gain an extra AP, which is dope. And um, if we're already at 10 uh, crit this year, it's another plus 4. So that's 14 crits. So that is option number one. Problem is, uh, I've seen that some of the enemies are completely immune to crit. And in that case, of course, kind of that base damage uh, is a little bit low on the lower end, right? So we're looking at what here? Uh, six points of damage. So naturally, I was thinking, hmm, should we maybe go for eight points of base damage? And I think we're going to go for that. It's a tiny, tiny bit less crit damage overall, but it is better for uh, non-crit uh, or crit immune bosses. We got the vulnerability school on top of it so that we can uh, work with vulnerability. And I changed some of the loadout for Grell into the stun part uh, and we got brain mines part three uh, including his own uh, stun ability so he can easily toss out like 10 15 aoe stun combined with this here uh, that'll be like a fantastic opportunity uh, to just kill literally everything and e with executions but um, I still maintained, so to speak, the base uh, concept of Ender being the absolute melee madness monster that we have seen. With that, let's start the mission. I'm pretty sure we're just going to steamroll him at this point. I feel that I've out-leveled and pretty much out-geared uh, the game. And this team composition with that equipment I would go on record saying is the strongest uh, that I can currently think of because it combines uh, stunning with single target massive damage. Ah, the wilts of the Seeker Light. I had hoped to have completed my works here before I was discovered. No matter. You are only a handful. A mere one of my brothers would be enough to deal with you, Warpspawn. <laughs> Such taunts come easy on I, from a craven. You should count yourself lucky, demon. If it were I facing you, your end here would not be swift. Oh, truly? Perhaps I should make a game of it then. Let us see how long you can stand to watch your brother's agony from the safety of that perch of yours. See, here's the thing, okay? Um, first and most important question that I think every single one of you is asking themselves, which mouse is he actually speaking from? The one uh, from his belly, uh, the one with the tongue with a hat on, or the little tongue? And he would have way too... Uh, low-pitched voice 
um, if uh, that little tongue thing would be correct. Anyway, so what are we dealing with? Uh, corrosive darkness targets a knight. Uh, damage uh, scales with a number of demons. Okay, psychic blast activates within an area of seven. Uh, deals four damage. Uh, Reapers call and summons effigy of death, effigy of infirmity, effigy of support, uh, despair. So a lot of effigies uh, that he is uh, summoning at once. Uh, Reapers call. Menethiant creates two resurrection emblems. If they are not destroyed, they will summon demons in two turns. Okay. Then he's immune to bleed, nullify, incapacitated, uh, crazed, dominated, panicked, blinded, plagued, knock and banish, which means disrupted and weakened still work, so vulnerable. And those are the afflictions that we're using. Uh, interestingly enough, he also could be uh, burned. Passive. Uh, Milithian has 0% chance to restore target point uh, at the end of the turn. Scales with a number of demons. Okay. To restore a target point. Okay, I see. Then, summon effigy. Effigy. Uh, Milithian will summon an effigy that will support him and impede the player, but that's passive and only if he can do that. And he has a superior knockback uh, attack. 150 hit points, demonic and morbidly obese as these things tend to be. Good. We're coming in clutch. Let's do a couple of things here. Did I really forget my 50% extra crit? Oh come on, Saiken. Why? Good. Might as well... And just use... Uh, the, the ones that you brought with you I don't think that uh, it'll take uh, that long but okay it is what it is so is he immune to stun by the way yeah he cannot be stunned so not even going to try There's the warp speed we've been hoping for. Praise the Emperor. Make him vulnerable. Very good. What is your will? Disrupt him just in case, because there might be autos or whatnot. Icon has been detected. Its power has been psychically linked to one of our Astartes. Our training fortifies us against such psychic attacks. Recommend adjusting targeting priorities. Uh, Methian gains plus 10 armor. That is despair. Twenty-five percent chance to restore a target point at the end of his turn. Uh, scales with a number of demons. Okay, he now has ten armor. Okay. We could kill this, or we're just taking. This away. What's our chance of critting? Only 50% instead of 100. There we go. Oh, that's 25 hit points uh, worth of damage. I like it. Standing ready. Pain. Yes, Commander. 
Good, that's just... Solid damage. Why is he summoning that after being disrupted? Effigy of suffering. What does that do? Another. Uh, 10 armor. Okay. I see. So you're telling me you're what trying to way? max armor your way out of this. Well, I'm telling you this is not going to work. You're going to eat hot steel. And you're going to like it. Weakened is great as well, but I think we're just immobilizing you. Blow. We must press the attack while this harvester is off balance. Promise me, please. Such a wasteful distraction from my crop I've laid with you. Good. Hand over action points. Before going to here ourselves, and then we unfortunately don't have the buff because you can't use actions multiple times. That's a stun hammer. The tech priest is right. Destroy these foul effigies before they can do more harm. Hmm. So, uh, summon, an, uh, summon an effigy that will support him and impede the player. Okay, got that. But where does it say what the effigies do? That's an active ability. I don't see him. I don't see him taking that much more support. He's basically on his own. just continuing with damage here Okay, he has another effigy, which, let me take a guess, gives him 10 armor. All right, he's now rocking 40 armor. Love it. Cybolt. Cybolt deals extra stun. And if we attack... Interesting. Alright, well... Listen. This is not necessarily automatically summon effigies, but it is. It just happened to be at breakpoints.
That's a nice little hit, 100% crit. Fabulous. Uh, what is his bolter? There we go. I know that we had a really strong bolter. Fantastic. All right. He pushed us back. Back to 40. Hmm. Question is, should we, instead of doing that, just simply attack for strike? That's 11 plus potential 12. Nah, we're just forcing the crit. Continuing to hit. And we're almost got uh, got him down. There we go. I will not be banished! <laughs> we're not going to engage with uh, the normal mechanics of this thing. A hard-fought battle, Commander. Well done. New echoes detected. A prime seed is present below. Excellent. We should recover it and move on as quickly as we can. Yeah, the game did everything in its power to tell us you shall not just attack him and strike him down. Do the effigies, do the effigies. And Psyching is like, nope, stay on target, stay on target. And... We were hitting over 250 hit points down easily. And this is not only us, uh, on, this is us not even maximizing the damage potential, but es essentially having kind of a nice balanced build with. Um, a lot of stun elements as well. Very interesting. All right, Titan's Roar, super far range. Can't be upgraded further. Nah, I don't think that we need that. We're pretty much okay. dust and a third strain grinds to a halt our crusade goes well what say you inquisitor yes a fine victory yes i will await your next request to attune the codex are you not well i'm fine yes simply weary from the last ritual if I am needed, I will be in the Libris, attending to my work. 
Such a victory should have pleased her. Inconclusive. Emotions are inscrutable. The recent biodiagnostics have all passed. She listens to the warp's whispers day and night. Such communion takes a toll on the mortal mind. We will need to keep a close eye on her. That might be our end boss in the making there. The one person that prepares her own status as the end boss. Researching. I like that. Good, rest is in progress. Wound recovery at the moment doesn't look too pretty, but that's fine. We're okay. We are very much okay. So, we got a five star planet here. We got three, four star there. Given that we have a fiver here, let's position ourselves close enough to it so that a gate mission can spawn. We're back to the affliction team, by the way. Our main team has done its job. This will be harsh. Gotta fight through two enemy vessels. But at least we can prevent two spawns from happening. Alright, de Death Guard encounter number one. Status Flagship identified in near planetary orbit. It appears to be unloading a compound into the. Those are fragments of bloom seeds. If we were to disable that ship, we might recover the vile ammunition from. I'd rather we eliminate it from range while we have the element of surprise. What say you, Commander? Uh, we're opening Burn fire. It from the sky. Fantastic. So, far so good. Emergency Nexus forming off the starboard bow. Whoa. Battle stations. Get on the boy shields. Run out the guns. Yeah, what is happening? That's an excellent question. What? What? Teleportation. Signifiers. Titans wrath. Stand by to repel borders. Is this the obligatory mission? Ah, so this is what you've been up to, eh, Carter? <laughs> oh, you should know better than to try on the such vile sorcery. No, Ektar! The Libris has been breached! I require immediate support. Ah, yes. Call your silver slaves. 
I'll use them to fertilize your corpse. Commander, where are my reinforcements? Internal teleportation is disrupted. You will need to hold off the intruders while support arrives on foot. <laughs> yes, Carver. Let us dance. What? Okay. Cadex, yeah? Okay, well... He's a demon, so I guess technically we can banish him. But that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Is he immune to banish? There we go, immune to banish. Well, like I said, it would be too easy. Instead, let's get you. No, you still no. Are you also immune to banish? <sighs> no. Moving Did to here, a bit further away. That would be an option, but that's a better option. Fall me. Fall the <laughs> I bring death. I wonder what kind of um, support we're going to get. Like, can I get a team? They will... I let you run wild for too long, Carver. You are a weed choking the growth of our glorious bloom. Ektar, I contend with a demon prince. Oh, come now, Carver. It is beneath you to go groveling for aid. All right, Grell. Ah, uh, Grell. Uh, we can't stun him, right? Yeah, he's completely immune to stun. But we can most certainly hit three people here. It's a good start. Let's see if this works out. Can we regain an AP? No, we cannot. All right, that's unfortunate. What is it? Good. If we can't get regain APs, uh, then you guys just shoot your uh, shoot your comrades. Alright, he's stunned enough, so that we can execute. I've the seed. Nice. 
Unfortunately, only our Inquisitor, uh, only our Librarian is getting uh, AP, not the Inquisitor. Domination is so helpful. This chase, Carver. You will be my guest of honor when we celebrate the Bloom's inevitable morbus. Hit this. Keep it going. Our librarian is uh, soloing the entire bunch. We're regaining the willpower anyways very very soon. I'm busy. With pleasure. Standing ready. Mm, sweet, sweet execution. <laughs> you see that coward? Regrettable. Yeah, there might be more where he came from, but let me tell you, you, my friend, are going to be effed. My blade is yours. He did have that stupid auto ability, right? Codex cancelled it, teleports to a random location, and summons four self-reflections. Nah, that's not happening. That's a pretty costly way of disrupting him. So, let's see if we can craze him. Yep, that means he takes a different uh, target. And we are continuing. Normal hits, or alternatively... Yeah, we're just gonna hit normally how big is our chance to crit exactly zero percent fantastic
Well. Still not done with uh, spending all of our points here. Very nice. Are you sure, Commander? Insurgents have penetrated 57.3% of the Edict's core systems. My servitors are fully mind-locked. With your lead, Commander, I will repel these borders. Your orders. All right, teleport everybody right over here. We got two librarians. Apparently, people are just being taken at random. So, more disruption. Strike yes, Commander. All right. That is no damage whatsoever. Moves down to here. She's not really the best target against Back, fiend. against that fiend, but it she deals bleeds. some damage, so better than nothing, I suppose. Yes, Got a little bit of healing, sure. What is your will? interesting how we're <laughs> just trying to hit this guy oh i know who uh, who will hit hard this here is an anti psi uh, an anti uh, demon psi blaster so there we go that's as much damage as we get at the moment fiend you won't be long for this world huh. i have only lifted a veil from their eyes my dear Allow me to lift it from yours. One interceptor. And that also teaches me I should always, always, always make sure that people are equipped. Yeah, do you think that these few reinforcements are scaring me? <laughs> Not at all. Why do you fail so, Carver? Your codex is dust. You can restrain the bloom no longer. Liar. You remain here because your master fears what I might yet do to stop you. There we go. Interceptor, Ubuntu. Unfortunately, not the right interceptor, but at least he is a melee. At least he has melee training. Sort of. He doesn't have like an uber weapon. I am here to serve. But it's still going to work out well. A 
Unleash me. Uh, psychic Shriek. Good, there is the disruption I was looking for. Opening fire. Give me that support fire. This time you will not escape, demon. You will oh, be no. mine. Why, Carver? I didn't know you cared so much. My power leaves me. All right, one, two, three. One, two, and Our librarian finishes it. Puppets of the Corpse Emperor! You dare imprison me? <laughs> Your precious comments is burned! The bloom will thrive! <laughs> we have him, this warden of the bloom. Throne of the Emperor, slay this creature! We cannot! Without the Codex, the remaining Reapers will continue to spread their strains unimpeded. He is our only link to the bloom. Report. The enemy vessel is disengaging. What? Those cowards. It flees into the sea of souls. Destroy it before... Hector has a point. Alright, from now on I will definitely equip every single one of uh, my guys. Can the Codex Toxicus be recovered, Inquisitor? No. No, its precious Wraithbone is shattered. I trusted it would be safe in the heart of a ship crewed by the Emperor's most elite demon hunters. The Emperor judges us all. This stillborn venture was your plan. Delightful, isn't it, Carver? He not only questions your methods, but your authority as well. Silence, demon filth. Your time is at an end. Not yet. What? Why? This abomination serves the Plague God. He must be exterminated immediately. This demon prince knew enough to locate and destroy the Codex. I must extract what else he knows. He made this mistake on the craft world, blindly chasing mysteries. And what would you have us do, Ektar? Without the Codex, we will flounder in darkness while those last two strains spread beyond our control. <laughs> what indeed? What indeed? Commander, hear me. The bloom spreads beyond our capability to stop it. I am out of ideas and we are out of time. My one hope is that this demon knows something we can use. If I fail in the task, do what you will with me. If you falter for a moment, I will have no other choice. <laughs> he fears you, Carver. He is not my executioner, but he will be yours. 
<laughs> Whoa, a lot to take in. A lot to take in. All right, back. So we defended the ship and I spent some time equipping every single Grey Knight with proper equipment. Took a while. And what is happening here? <clears throat> Kadex and his mind is mine for the taking. Without the Codex Toxicus, is our only possible lead against the Bloom. I urge you to begin the rites of domination. Interesting change in the storyline. I like how Cadex is like trapped back here with all of those chains, holy chains. I see you have come straight to me. I want him destroyed far more than we must fall. If you have another plan, what concern? We cannot. I give thanks. Yes, we must focus on his, his presence. Yes. What concerns you? All right, well. <laughs> we don't have enough servitors for our plasma reactor. F f phenomena. Okay, do we get some here? No, only requisition. Well, this will suck. Commander, warp storms continue to expand across the perimeter of this sector. We have not received any transmission from Grandmaster Kai, but Titan's support, thankfully, appears able to reach us. He doesn't even comment on the fact that we do have a demon, a literal demon prince on our ship. He's like, yup, no, you did far worse shit than that, so... We good you. Alert. Death Guard plague ship detected. It is closing in fast, Commander. Warning. Corrupting pustules located on the ship's surface. Close quarters combat presents extreme... Let me be of service in this. I have a psychometric mantra that will agitate those pustules, causing them to detonate. It will sap my strength. We appreciate the offer, Inquisitor. Commander, we should launch a strike force to attack the ship from within. I think we're just going to use her. Cool. Stratagems lock, that's not a big problem. Okay. Oh, st all stratagems are locked? Oh, okay, well that might be a bit of a problem. But one problem that Future Psyche needs to solve. Ah, I can't reach that. But we can reach that one. Alright, two more quests for us. Let's do this mission and then the next one. Unfortunately, up here do we have uh, just Grimoires. We're lacking servitors. We need 12 servitors. Uh, not good. We need a lot of servitors. Uh, that plasma reactor, if it isn't coming back on... Hmm, maybe nothing is a problem because... These systems are already installed. Maybe it's not that bad of a problem. Well, we first of all need to repair the plasma generator prior to the hull. So the hull is and remains an issue. Okay, good. But we can fix that the next time for now. That's the end of today's episode. Next time we're continuing with the affliction-based team, but apparently without stratagems. So that's a bit of an issue. Let's see how well we can do without the stratagems. See you in the next episode, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.